These are demonstrations that are both different types of singing bowls, uh, which people often hear and they go, how is the bowl going to sing? But the way that it sings is by being forced to vibrate at its natural frequency, which is resonance. With this smaller bowl, it has a natural frequency that it wants to vibrate at. If I hit it, it will vibrate at its natural frequency, which is a very pleasant sound. But what these are really known for is when I take this mallet, which the end is covered in leather, which is a nice high friction surface. When I take the mallet and I rub the mallet around the outside of the bowl, if you go at the right speed, and you can kind of feel it if you ever do this yourself, the bowl is being forced to vibrate by the friction, and so it vibrates at its natural frequency. Those higher pitch noises are where the mallet is slipping off and starting to actually ring against the bowl as the bowl vibrates. But it's the friction that gets that noise, that low hum started in the bowl. So this is one type of singing bowl, but the other type of singing bowl that you might find is one of these. And to use these, there has to be water. So I went ahead and I put water on the inside of the bowl. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip my hands in the water. And this is kind of similar to when you run your finger around the edge of a wine glass. That type is very similar to that as well. But this one always reminded me more of the wine glass because you have to get your hands wet for this. These handles are attached to the bowl, which has its own natural frequency. And when I rub the handles, the friction between my hands and those handles causes the entire bowl to vibrate. And you have to rub your hands at the right speed and the entire bowl starts to shake. It makes that noise and you can actually see those vibrations, you can see those waves on the surface of the water. When the vibrations get big enough, it even sends up a shower of drops. Because the water is vibrating so much that it just starts to shake itself out of the bowl. And once again, this is happening because we force the bowl to vibrate at its natural frequency by rubbing our hands along the handles. When you force something to vibrate at its natural frequency, that is called resonance. And those vibrations might start small, but they're gonna build and become bigger and bigger and bigger.